Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Supercars of London YouTube channel from inside my VW Golf GTI, which is due an oil change and has a temperamental sensor, or at least I hope it's a temperamental sensor. Oh, there we go. It's behaving this morning. Which is telling me that I've got a gearbox fault on the car. For the last month, it has been flagging up around 60% of the time that I start the car up, saying that I can drive, but please contact the workshop. So that's exactly what I did. And I have now conveniently booked this car in so that it can be seen and have its oil change over the next 48 hours. And why I say conveniently, because I've organized a little replacement that's still within the VW group that I'm gonna have to daily. <laughs> this could be quite interesting. This is the absolute bonkers 2022 Lamborghini Aventador LP780-4 Ultimate Coupe. One of 350 in the world and for the next 48 hours, this is my daily driver. <laughs> Treat you well. Where'd you put this? Dangle it. Oh, that looks dodgy. This is, no, this is tight. Now we've instantly got a little problem on our hands because this is a very narrow country road out in the Hertfordshire countryside. And we've just had a lovely lady and her dog walk past his car, comment on how beautiful the car was. They've walked in that direction, which is the way that I need to go, even though I have no idea where that road takes me. I'm about to find out on Google Maps. We're gonna be taking this car. Let me show you the road. If we get a car coming in the other direction from there, I'm gonna to have to reverse the entire way back down the road to this lay-by because I know that this car can fit in it. And here we go. This is the problem. I mean, I would've been screwed if that car came down whilst I was driving. It is a one car fit. There's another car there. <laughs> oh no, I'm in a huge world of trouble. I might actually reverse back down there, but it's a blind corner for anyone coming around there. Right. I don't really know what the solution is here. I'm already hot and flustered. Okay, this is actually a little bit wider than I thought. We might get incredibly lucky whilst two cars went past there. Oh, this car's low, I might actually need nose lift. I'm not getting in that late, but if a car comes around here... Oh, hold on a minute! Daily and Aventador is easy! As I say, with 60 miles fuel, terrified of refueling it. <laughs> this is no, this is tight. Oh, this isn't fun. This is the other element of an Aventador on roads like this. You take the back road because there isn't any speed bumps and you're fending for yourself because this car is so wide, it's actually incredibly impractical on at least 80% of the UK roads. Shell, here we come! There's a lot of stones here. There we go. Shell V Power. 206. You'll see how small this tank is, but also how obscenely expensive everything is at the moment. Don't get me wrong, this spec is absolutely bonkers. This paint is 19 grand. It literally just clicked. Yeah, that's not bad. I was expecting it to be like 130 quid, but as I said, the fuel tank is so small on this car. You'd think an Aventador probably would cost £150 plus to refuel. 
And with the driving that I've just done on the dual carriageway there, it's telling me that I've got 304 miles, which is not going to happen. It gets a little bit awkward driving such a ridiculous car so slowly and holding everyone up. But over there is where I have to hand back ASOS packages. I've now got a little trail of cars behind me, which ah, is going down, it's gone to 20 miles an hour. Up, 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 up. intimidating to drive the size of it the power of it You need to order the part in. Yes, but the car won't be drivable because we've obviously had to remove that to investigate it further. Uh, where are we Wednesday? No, Friday, this Friday, three days. All being well, they should turn up tomorrow, latest Friday morning, be refitted, um, apply the new software, and your car will be working nicely. Okay. I will keep you posted best as I can, but that's the latest information I have now. Slightly worrying news after dropping off that ASOS package, I just took that call that you heard from VW to suggest it wasn't a faulty sensor, it was actually a proper fault. They have to replace an entire auto gearbox lever or something along those lines. So whatever the update they tried to do has failed, uh, which now means the car is not drivable and they need it for an extra day, which <laughs> means that this car <laughs> is gonna be my daily driver <laughs> for even longer. I mean, come on, it does not get much better than this. Sunset, golden hour, out here in Hertfordshire, the night before 
this is getting collected and it has been a whirlwind 72 hours an extended drive in the aventador ultimate whilst my golf gti actually has a problem but tomorrow is when i collect it and i cannot stop looking at it with that sunset i've brought my camera out here just to take in these final moments of me with the aventador ultimate i think it's safe to say that i've completed about 30 percent of the errands that i was supposed to do i've been to a meeting I filled it up a lot. I filmed the podcast. I've taken an ASOS package back. It is fundamentally an S, the comfort, the usability, with a little bit of the SVJ styling and the SVJ power and that exhaust system with 100% aero across the rear diffuser that you don't necessarily get from the Aventador S. And I love this thing. It is a celebration of that 6.5 litre V12 and Lamborghini limiting them fundamentally means that it is going to be an appreciating asset and one for the collectors. I am truly incredibly lucky and feel so grateful to be able to have had my time with this car. And one day, one day an Aventador of some sorts, not this one because they're all sold out and incredibly expensive, uh, will live on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. And whilst I've battered it a little bit doing the daily stuff, obviously the Aventador is probably the worst car for daily driving capabilities. It is a sledgehammer for the road and we thank Lamborghini for building these cars. And I've got all of the confidence in the world that yes, we will not have a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12 in the replacement to the Aventador, but it is damn sure gonna be an absolute monster and Lamborghini will not take anywhere near as much character out of this as I can imagine we'll probably expect. That single clutch beer gearbox still has so much character, but I will leave it there guys. Off to collect the Golf GTI tomorrow, hopefully fixed with no error lights. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. What an amazing car. Thank you, Lamborghini.